The new player workflow in Pelotero is very simple. Find your new player and you'll be brought to the first assessment screen. From here, simply click Start Assessment. You'll be asked to confirm date of birth. We have Miguel Cabrera's information over here. He was born on April 18th. of the year 1983. So we're gonna update his information. This is important because a lot of the scoring is based off of your age. So if we don't have your correct date of birth, it's gonna screw up your scoring. So handedness is right-handed, so that's all looking good. Now we've confirmed that player's information and we're going to, going to move into the assessment workflow. From here, you're gonna get videos. We can mute the audio if you'd like, or we can skip the videos. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to skip all the videos. And now the player can begin to hit. So very simple. I'm going to fast forward through this, but I can use keyboard shortcuts right now to do all the batted balls. And we'll zoom through this. If you need instruction, you can always click the video button where you're going to get the up and in drill instructions. For this second drill, we're going to move the tee to what we call the up and in location. We're going to start. So each drill has specific tee locations. The videos will instruct you how to do that. And again, we'll zoom through here real quick. Continue through the list of drills. The first five drills are very similar, where you are hitting the ball from a specific tee location. Again, we're just skipping through this quickly for demonstration purposes. Next, we have the middle back tee position. So each batted ball is being scored. How you hit the ball, the launch angle you hit the ball, the direction you hit the ball is all factored in. And we can get a pretty good understanding of how your bat path is moving through the zone. And that helps us prescribe specific drills. The last two drills are a little different. Drill number six is called how far can you hit it? You get 10 swings to hit the ball as far as you can. So I'll use a different keyboard shortcut and just start launching balls. It takes longer, so we'll skip that. And the final drill is very fun, very engaging. It's called hit it here, where on the screen, it will tell you where to hit the ball. So for this one, you're supposed to hit the ball line drive oppo. And then it's gonna be a fly ball to the pull side. So I'm pretty limited in what I can do with the keyboard shortcuts, but the goal is to, to do what it's asking you to do, ground ball up the middle and so on. So we'll skip through these. So immediately after completing this assessment. There's a closing video, so I'll walk you through the end of it. And the last step is you need to click the C report button. At this point, usually send the players out to uh, to pick up the balls, but you know, I'm going to click C report, and this is how long it takes the assessment to be scored. So the assessment has been scored, and now this hitter has specific priorities that they need to focus on. Uh, if you need help understanding what the scores mean, we're going to click how the grading works, and it'll walk you through. It's a 2080 scale that is adjusted to the player's age. So you might be a, a 40 for a 12-year-old, or you might be a 40 for a pro player. At this point, we can build a program for this player. Walk you through that process very quickly. We're going to click Build Program. We have two options here. We're going to do the quick build for now. And we'll pick this nuclear baseball. We're going to use two credits. And that program is currently being built. This is in real time how long it takes to build a program for a player. Um, again, the player can still be picking up the balls at this point. And that player's program is now built. We can now click Continue to your program. And this player now has a full four-week, four-day-per-week hitting program 
built to them. They can access this through the hit tracks and perform it on hit tracks, or they can get it through app.peltero.com. Uh, for each drill, we have a video and directions for how to perform the drill. You can scroll through the different days of the week. Again, if some drills have parameters, some don't. Uh, but you have access to all of your drills, all of your instruction. It gives you go zones, and I'll show you what it looks like right now to do a program. So we'll click Start Workout. Again, it'll give you that drill preview. We'll skip those. And we've got our full list of drills on the left. We have all of our parameters. Or sorry, we have a drill list on the right, parameters on the left. If there's a T position, it'll, it'll demonstrate that. And again, I can start hitting. So I'm supposed to be hitting the ball between 5 and 20 for launch angle. Direction 10 to 35. Zero is up the middle. Right field line is 45. Left field line is negative 45. So it's supposed to be hit towards right center. So again, if I hit a fly ball, it's going to tell me I've hit it too high. Direction is up the middle. I can do a quick shortcut here. Now I've hit a line drive within the appropriate range and the appropriate direction. And that is a successful completion of that drill. So you go through this entire program, get feedback on each swing, and that is how you perform an assessment, build a program, and do the program on hit tracks.